All right, day one, it's about 10 o'clock now. Nice kind of relaxed start. Some snow on the ground today. Brad came down, chatted us up for a bit, and uh, we're gonna run up to a bit of public and kind of do a lap around some water. So hopefully can't pull something, but we do have a little bit of snow on the ground. I'm gonna show this tree and just the color pattern and how closely it resembles some camo. Pretty sweet. So you got this tree that everybody's signed their names in. If you live in the area, I'm sorry I'm on your public ground, but this is pretty wild. Look at that. 97. I was born in 98, so. Gives you a little age of this tree. Right on top of this knoll here. You can see that down tree. There's five or six beds. Two of them have hair in them. And there's fresh tracks right here. We just jumped them out. I didn't see them, but mature bucks do that. This is a nice finger off the lake in a draw. You can see this whole ridge and the wind is just coming right to him. He's getting blown from each direction. This stream, he can see who's coming up, down. That's why he's still alive. So I'm gonna just keep tracking him, see if I can't walk a ways and see what kind of trails these deer are moving on to. But that right there was the prime example and the best example I've seen of bucks and does bedding on fingers. I haven't seen it enough. I've seen it twice or so in Maine that have like, they're traditional, where like that one there's four or five beds within 20 feet of each other. And it's just so clear. But, tracks are right there. Start heading up. See what we can't find. All right, just jumping in to the third farm of the day. It's torn up in here. Let's see if we can't find one. What's that called? Honey locust. I think the devil made that. That's the most evil tree I've ever laid eyes on. So that clip you're watching me record there, um, you can see my camera come up. That is what I presume to be the last clip I'd ever film with that camera. So you'll see in a minute why, but likely the dumbest decision I've ever made filming in my experience on YouTube. I tried to jump this little crack down around the corner. You're gonna see my full reaction and you're also gonna hear the plop of the entire DSLR drop right in the water. Well above its head. Microphone comes flying off when I start shaking it. Pulled it out of the water, but enjoy this fun little clip. Yeah, it just heats up too much. Nope. Oh, no. oh yeah. Got the camera in the water. Right in the drink. Fall in or you dropped it? Dropped it. Uh, you got the drop seat this week, huh? Yep. Yeah. You 
Look right through there, right where my bag is, there's a dead head. Yeah, couple bones here, couple there, and then you got him here. And he's a beauty of a seven. Beautiful little buck. Nice crooks there on the antlers. Cool character. And I'll go right back where he was. And we'll wait on the call from the warden, the DNR officer out here, and let me see if I can't find the uh, the other piece of the nasal. Um, grab it and glue it back on if I do get permission to grab it, but. Maybe I can make it out of another skull if I find one. Whew. That was pretty good. I dumped my camera right in the water this morning and it's all downhill from there for me. Spilt my coffee, spilt the beer last night. Not feeling like myself, but this kind of pulls me back to the real world. So let's go find something else. Ohio was a truly humbling trip. Nathan and I both got skunked on sheds. I got lucky to come away with that deadhead. An amazing trip nonetheless, seeing new country, new people, and creating connections out there. A big thank you to Brad with Legend Valley Outfitters for letting us come out and experiencing something new in Ohio. And to Nathan, thank you for inviting me on a trip to somewhere I've never been. Got to see some cool things, experience something new, and make some memories that are going to last a while. I do not know what's going on with Ohio. What is this? What is that friggin' hypodermic on this tree? I can't get away from his tracks over here. He's been on every track. That. We'd die for that, that, that. We'd be tickled pink with that. That's something I could do with me. That's close to something I could do with me. That's fantastically beautiful, and so is that one. Of course, there is all of the thorns right there. Every single one of these things are thorns. I'm Ian McKendry and I just found the shed. Nice friggin' antler. Look at that. That is dark. She stink? Oh, stinky. Live more, go beyond.